To understand this change, let's review how internet access currently works for VMs in Azure. An evaluation begins by checking for a network route defined to a network virtual appliance or firewall using a user-defined route, for example. This could be to an Azure firewall or a network virtual appliance provided by another vendor. Next, if an Azure NAT gateway is attached to the subnet, that's used. After that, if the VM has a public IP address, that's used to access the internet. Next, if the VM is part of a standard public load balancer with an outbound rule configured, the load balancer's public IP is used. The NAT gateway, NIC public IP, and load balancer with an outbound rule utilizes explicit source network address translation, or SNAT, for internet access. Microsoft recommends an explicit method for accessing the internet, one that we define and control. After that, if there are load balancing rules with the disable outbound SNAT rule set to false, that's used. If none of those conditions match, the VM gets implicit outbound connectivity from a public Microsoft IP, even if we haven't configured internet access. Default outbound access will no longer be available at the end of September 2025.